Okay, for this effect, we just need ace through eight, and the suits are not important, so I just got a random mixture of suits in here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to randomize this packet together. Uh, but despite the um, uh, kind of random choices that the two of us together are going to make, I think working together we can still accomplish something that will be very, very surprising. So let's just see how this goes. So I'll begin to mix this and then I'm going to have you do a lion's share of the mixing. You're going to do just about all of the mixing actually. So let's see, let's just begin to kind of mix these up a bit. So maybe I'll take a couple from the bottom and maybe one from the top. Uh, let's see one from the bottom, maybe a couple from the top and then the bottom on top. Okay, and I can even show you that we've kind of begun to scramble the cards a fair amount. That's a pretty good start to mixing these. Now, um, this is where you come in. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something called the Mange Shuffle. It's M-O-N-G-E. It's also referred to as the Over Under or the Under Over. So we'll, we'll do either one of those. It will be a completely free choice for you. So, so for the Mon Shuffle uh, over under, um, in fact, I can just show you what it is and then you can decide which ones you want. So, um, so over under, how this works is we push the top card into our other hand and then this one goes over and then this one goes under, over, under, over, under, over, okay? And then the under over, we just begin it with that second card under and then over and so forth. Okay, so, um, so which one would you like me to perform? Would you like an over under or under over next? You want another over under? Okay, so watch me, make sure I don't mess up here. So you push over the top card and then this one goes over and then this one under, over, under, over, under, over. Would you like to do another one of those or maybe mix in some under overs? You want to do a couple of under overs? Okay, we can do that. Okay, so we push this one into our other hand. This one goes under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And you said you wanted two of those, right? Okay, so we'll do that again. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay. Would you like to do any more of these Mon shuffles? And I need you to know that uh, we can stay here as long as you uh, have time or patience. We can do as many of these as you like. You want to do three <laughs> over unders? Uh, okay, and then we're done, right? Is that okay if we finish there? Okay, okay, so we're gonna do three of these. Okay, so over under, so push this one into your other hand, and that's over, under, over, under, over, under, over, okay? Over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay, the way is, oh, what are you saying? Instead of doing another over, under, you want it to be an under, over to finish? Okay, you can change your mind at any point. Okay, so we'll finish with an under, over then. Is that right? Okay, okay, so. We push this one to, to our other hand, and then we go under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay, are you satisfied? Okay, you are. Okay, very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, um, to I'm going to just separate this into uh, two piles, and we'll see what all of our decisions and actions and choices together have accomplished. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like kind of randomly uh, maybe I'll put that one there, uh, maybe there, uh, there, and then uh, there, there again maybe, and then there. Okay, there we go. So I've created uh, two piles of four cards each. Okay, where has that brought us? Okay. So where has that brought us? Well, what's in the first little packet here? Hmm. That's kind of curious, isn't it? So we got uh, that. Hmm. Kind of curious. And then we got uh, these right here. I don't know if you notice anything. I don't know if there's anything surprising there. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. 
So one pile has one, two, three, four, and the second pile has five, six, seven, eight. How in the world did we do that working together? We separated them into consecutive groups of four cards each. I can't even begin to think back to all of the choices and mixing that we've done. How is that possible? Now, a note to you as a performer, uh, you could have actually written a prediction as well for this. You could say, you know, you could put them out like we had them. It might not mean anything until you put them in order. And then you could bring out a piece of paper and say, you will separate these cards into two piles. One will have ace through four, and the second pile will have five through eight. Okay? And that will be guaranteed if you use this Bessie sequence as the engine driving it. Okay, so let me just show you um, how this one was done because I, I had to do some steps that I didn't really explain on the fly uh, because I didn't you know, want to slow down the performance too much. Okay, so this is where we began. So if you've been watching any of the videos in the Bessie Sequence kind of series of videos. So what we're wanting is, um, my, my goal was to have these together, obviously, right? Ace through four in one pile at the very end, and then five through eight in a second pile, okay? So the way to think about this is these all need to be in the same pile in the end, and so you can associate these cards with the ones. We have four ones, so these are like all ones, and then the remaining cards are associated with the digit zero. So now we have to build our special packet that will be preserved throughout the shuffling that we're doing in this video. Okay, so think of these as ones, which we're going to have grouped together at the end, and these are zeros, these four here. Okay, so as if you remember, I said, okay, well, I'll just kind of, kind of mix these up a bit. So what I did was, so the top four are right ones. So I'm going to just, in my mind's eye, this is all I have to remember. One, zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. That's all you have to remember. So the top four are ones. The bottom four are zeros. So I just do a one, and now I need a zero, so that comes from the bottom. I need another zero, comes from the bottom. I need a one, so I take it from the top. I need a zero, that comes from the bottom. I need a couple of ones, those come from the top. And then the last card is a zero, okay? So we put it in the special arrangement that is guaranteed to survive the mixing that we're going to put the packet through now. And if you remember, I even showed them and said, boy, you know, this, this is our initial kind of randomization of the packet, it's pretty much a mess. And you could study that for a very long time and not see anything in it. But there is structure here, okay? Um, so anyway, you show them that, and now you're all set. It has that special structure. And so the uh, mixing that we're going to do today that leaves this unharmed, or at least allows us to finish in the way that we're going to finish, is the Mange Shuffle, M-O-N-G-E. Okay, so this comes in two varieties, over, under, and under, over. So this is where you push off that top card, and then if you want to do an over, under, so it's over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay, and we can do an under, over, so you push that over. So under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and then maybe we'll do one more under, over, if you would like. You can do as many of these as you like. So under, over, under, over, under, over, under, okay? Now, I, I want to emphasize <laughs> in the realm of mathematical card magic, you'll be lucky if nice things happen after performing a mixing routine twice or maybe three times. It's almost unheard of for something nice to happen after any number of performances of the same mixing routine. That's almost unheard of, by the way. 
And all of this is studied in the Hidden Structures online course. So that's where you can kind of learn about the mathematics really underpinning this and how I actually came up with this sequence because it's a result of my research there. Okay, so, uh, so we've done the Mon Shuffle, very good. And now all we have to do is kind of like pull it apart according to our little, you think of it as a key. <laughs> this gives us a roadmap for how to separate these. And so as I've done before, I'll do it again because it's probably helpful. Um, so we're associating the top card with one. That's being associated with zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. Okay. So when we deal them into two piles, I'm essentially putting all the ones in one pile and all the zeros in the other. So I'm going to go one, zero, zero. 1, so I've taken care of those, 0, 1, 1, 0, okay? And that will guarantee that we're going to separate ace through 4 into one group and 5 through 8 in the other group. Now notice you won't get them in order. That's asking too much, quite honestly. Mathematically speaking, that is asking like way too much. Uh, but we do know that ace through four will be in here somewhere, and five through eight in there. And once again, that can be um, revealed by way of a written prediction, okay? Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I hope you watch some of the other videos that deal with this most remarkable sequence. And I appreciate you watching, and take a look at the other videos on the Hidden Structures channel. There are many, many videos of different levels and of different kinds. So thank you for watching.